I flew in from Amsterdam together with these soulmates, yes. uh, Thomas and Jeroen. Um, and uh, we run a, I would say a consulting company in, in Amsterdam, but actually the business that we're really in is the business of waking up the workplace. Um, cool. And um, it's pretty special for us to be here because I, I think about six years ago, give or take a week, uh, 2003, we, um, in a rather freakish way, won a trip to Curaçao, an island in the Caribbean, um, drinking beer, which <laughs> is another story entirely. Um, <laughs> and we were sitting there um, reading some books on the beach. Uh, in this case, the theory of everything and a brief history of everything yeah. by you. And <laughs> we were students of business at the time, and um, we'd really become friends and we're having all these conversations and felt that I think all three of us had this sense that the study of business was pretty much what we wanted to do, but then we also felt really out of place there. Like there wasn't really anything else that we wanted to do more, but you know, it felt sort of, you know, is this it? Yeah. Um, and of course when you're in the academic environment, they can be really sort of fundamentalist about this is how things are. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> we were kind of confused there. And reading those two books by you um, on on a white sandy beach, you know, listening to the sounds of the waves crashing in um, <laughs> was a pretty sort of karmic event, I think. Right. And it really blew our minds right open. Right. And I think what happened there for the three of us, at least as I look at that, uh, is that we allowed ourselves just for a second to take seriously the possibility that there might be another way. Um, and that was pretty important for yeah. us because we were really, you know, we weren't able to language that at the time, but looking back, we were really struggling with that. Yeah. So what happened was we read your books and we were completely, you know, like it all started making sense. And then we started thinking, so how does that relate to business and to what we're actually studying? And we started asking these questions like what would it be to, um, to have more integral ways of doing business? Um, and to be able to create organizations where people can bring their whole selves to work. You know, how would that work? And we started out with this really sort of naive, immature idea that we'd be sort of an integral consulting company that would do all kinds of equal stuff. Um, and actually, I'm, I'm saying it's naive because we found that, um, you know, you were describing this, we'd go up to people and we'd start talking about <laughs> integral <laughs> for <laughs> and they'd be like, you know, and, and I'm not sure. Um, so, I mean, that wasn't really working out either with friends or in the university or even outside of that. So at some point we started doing this um, sort of exercise of writing a business plan in kind of a competition thing. Um, and one of the chapters was on writing a, uh, an analysis of your competition. Um, so we started doing that, looking at other people in the Netherlands and out elsewhere, but particularly in the Netherlands, that were doing the kind of work that we really would want to be doing. Right. And we found a couple. And of course, it turned out not to be competitors, but you know, people who sort of got it and we could really right. um, prove with them. So that was really good. But then to cut a long story short, we finished our studies, you know, went through that whole process. And when we finished our studies in uh, three years ago, um, so three years after reading right. uh, your books, um, there was really no going back. Like we had to go out and try it. Um, so we started up our own company, which is called Realize. Um, with an exclamation mark, it's sort of like a playful, uh, uh, I think what we have to bring to it at least is sort of a playful attitude also. Yeah. Um, and for us that really means, you know, the two meanings of that word, which is beautiful, um, to realize your potential, you know, to become aware of who you are and uh, to become conscious on that on the one hand, but also then to step into the world and to manifest that potential. Right. Um, and it's the space in between those two <coughs> meanings of the world that we're right. sort of playing in in the arena of business organization work. Um, so we've been basically doing that for three years, working on with individuals and leadership development, young leadership development, We're working with organizations to develop, like um, to get them to talk about the stuff that really matters in the lower left and to create structures and processes that allow for that in the lower right. And um, we're actually here in the, at the Interpo Incubator to sort of celebrate our third year anniversary. Um, because it's a natural time to step back and to reflect on what right. we've been doing. Right. Um, because your sure stuff works. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, it works. I mean, we're here, so uh, in that sense, definitely. 
uh, it also works. And like you said, there are ways of finding business models that work, if only because it's 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 tenfold more effective to be working from this perspective. Right. Um, so for me, it's I mean it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Uh, you need to be able to communicate that value, and that's a whole different story. But right. once you do, then the value is very very like you can't get around that. Um, well, what you're doing, the, I, I want you to finish. I, I think I interrupted you. Um, what you're doing is uh, exactly the kind of thing that I was talking about at the beginning, which needs to be done, which is this sort of um, three things are involved. One is there's this actual consciousness descending or emerging, however you want to think about it. It's an, it is truly a next stage of major basic awareness emerging. And since one of the fundamental drives of evolution is each stage unifies things that previously were partial. So, I mean, go all the way back. Um, quarks are drawn together into atoms. Atoms are drawn together into molecules. Molecules are drawn together into cells. Cells drawn together into organisms and so on. Every stage of evolution works that way. And the same thing is happening with the emergence of integral. It's, it's drawing together. It's, it, it is more integrated, more unitive, uh, more comprehensive. So one is this awareness, this new territory that is emerging. And the second is the maps that we make about this territory. And that's, I always liken this to the maps that the explorers made of the, quote, new world of, over here when they first came over. Um, you know, Columbus and, and Vesputin and, and all of those. And if you look at their maps, they're, you know, Florida is the size of Greenland and goes all the way down south and it's all kind of distorted but these are the first maps of this new world <clears throat> so creating maps of this new world is is the second important thing that we can be doing the third is then how do you actually apply it how do you actually take these maps and say okay with this map here's how we change education with this map here's how we change psychiatry with this map, here's how we change business, business consulting. With this new map, here's how we change. And it's just right across the board. So these three factors are what's so important. And we have got to a point now where we think we have a good enough map that we can start applying. It's not to say that it won't get improved and all of that. But it, it's hanging together, you know, so far really well. And like I said, it's been applied to 37 human disciplines at a PhD level. So all of that is, is very encouraging. But now what we have to do is, now, okay, now show me how to do integral psychiatry. Show me how to do integral business. Show me how to do integral law. And that's, you know... That's the integral incubator. That's sort of where we are, is incubating these actual applications. Because the territory is coming. This is not, like I said, this is not a theory or an idea. It's the direct result of empirical developmental testing. We can test for these stages of development. There is a new stage emerging. I, um, I don't know a single developmentalist that disagrees with that. There is a